Hey, hi everybody, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm gonna try something different. i seen on YouTube somewhere. <laughs> I'm not too sure exactly where, because I get, you know, going through YouTube at night, so you can't always remember where you're watching stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna make one of those three tiers, hopefully. <laughs> and hopefully I can drill the whole center. Uh, I have the little tiers. You know, it's like the bigger one on the bottom. I don't have a smaller heart, but I think that'll be fine. Uh, the two, these, these two same sizes, the middle and top. And I have gold. So I'm using the premium quality. This is the, it's clear epoxy resin and it is great for coating your paintings. Just about anything, you see all the stuff on the bottom tabletops up to casting and I like it and then I'm just gonna put some of those gold flakes which are so hard to manage so the first time I worked with them and look at this I ended up putting it in this bag and it was flying everywhere that's kind of funny so that's all it's gonna be I think it'll look pretty with the gold handles and we'll just get started so I mixed up my my uh resin and i'm ready to go um let's see i do have a coupon code in my description for the epoxy resin store if you're ever interested in trying this resin i think it's a very good general use resin so what i do is i make sure and i heat it up but not real hot with my heat gun and then I'll just wait a few minutes a minute or two and then I heat it up again okay and then I do follow up with the torch afterwards but uh, that's how you want to get you get all of the uh, bubbles out that way and you don't hurt your coasters as long as you don't overheat it So here we go.
Okay, that's it. So, uh, stay tuned for them to be unmolded. Okay? I think they're pretty. And hopefully they're nice and clear. They should be. Uh, yeah, I like them. Good. There's little particles of small ones and big chunks. So, that's cool. They should be very pretty. Okay. <laughs> so, having some technical difficulties here. I just did, just took them out of the molds and uh, checked my editor. I was going to edit that part in and it didn't record the volume. And uh, apparently I had my sound off. I don't know how. Anyway, took them out <laughs> and they turned out beautiful. Let's take a look. The big one is just gorgeous. Isn't that neat? So as you can see, they turned out real clear. You just want to make sure that you only apply low heat, like at least twice, wait in between, and you won't hurt your coasters. But uh, you have to have one of those heat guns that have the temperature setting on it. <laughs> Very neat, very elegant looking. And yeah, it's going to be gorgeous. Isn't that clear? Looks really neat from the sides. I don't know if I'm going to paint the sides uh, gold or not, or put some of that gilding. I'm not sure. I'll test it. If not, take it off with a little rubbing alcohol see how it looks anyway it'll look pretty cool with these on unfortunately i won't be able to show you it complete because i forgot i have to wait at least seven days for these to completely cure and harden because they could possibly drape you know i just want to really make sure anyway that the white will the little washer will show but I'm thinking I'll just go ahead and paint that gold, you know. Do you think it looks pretty? Well, that's going to be the bottom one. You know, and then it's going to have that. <laughs> of course, this one. And the other one. So, yeah, let's just see. That's going to look pretty. That's going to look very elegant. It will be very nice. So it's just a matter of measuring and making sure you get the center. And that should be easy breezy stuff, actually. <laughs> so I'm very pleased with them. And what I really want to do now is make some coasters with it. And make a pretty set, you know. Just something to put to maybe cheese or cookies or something for some kind of gathering. Oh. Uh, and then I was going to show you what I'm working on, those trays. Okay, so here's the one tray I did with all the glitter in it. And I decided instead of drilling holes, because I didn't want the nail or the screws to be underneath scratching any surfaces or anything when you lay it down, you know, on a table. So... I just went ahead and put a little bit of resin underneath the feet on these handles. So it'll just be something nice to put some, a little bowl or, you know, your coffee or your orange juice cereal, toast. <laughs> the only thing is, is I didn't realize it that I put it like this. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it happens in old age. <laughs> but it turned out very pretty. It's pretty cool. So... That's something I'll keep probably because it's backwards. <laughs> so I'm working on this one here, but it wasn't too crazy about the love. Okay, but everything else I was real happy with. This is glitter also in there. Very clear. Turned out beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's a little, just like that put in there. A little butterfly. 
So that's pretty neat. And then that will have silver handles. Huh. And then something. But yeah, I was not happy about this. So I went ahead and I got some of these actually today because uh, someone very sweet gave me a donation yesterday. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> anyway, I bought these because they're pretty. And they're more elegant looking, you know, than bold. Even though that's pretty, you know. But these will look better. And uh, the funny thing about it is I completely forgot that when you do studs or anything in resin, you won't see the studs. This is like flat. <laughs> you can't see any of these stones. They all look flat, but they're in there. Even like, look at this. Can't see it. I don't know why resin does that. Isn't that weird? But it does. I remember that happening on coaster ones, but this is what they were supposed to look like. Look. And see there's studs. And this will just show you just so you can see. That they did have some. You just, they hide, but they're still pretty. I like them. So I'm planning on making two more, one for somebody special. And then for that person, I'm going to make a music one. I thought this would be cute. Like all instruments, okay? And the black guitar to match it. Okay. And then some notes and some of these little things. I have some other black notes like this somewhere. I made some coasters with once, but I can't find those anywhere. So another one I'm planning on making would be just two more. Yeah, I want to redo the love one. Because I'm, aren't these pretty? That's gonna be beautiful. And then say love with these letters. And then I have some gold hearts. <laughs> and uh, this is going to be fun. Make it two more. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> been busy. Uh, doing them off video because it's just pouring the clear, getting the bubbles out. You know, put a little glitter in your resin. And then just laying these in there so it's not nothing real hard. Anyway, I did make a little one of these. <laughs> out of the gold gold nuggets <laughs> and because I had some leftover resin and I had to go quick with it too so I got this one with rose gold cube <laughs> and I made a tea candle thing for it it's very pretty so I'm looking forward to that. I am sorry again. You can't see it put together. Yep. It happens with me a lot. <laughs> no. I want to show you something else I'm working on. I've done this before. And I've taken it's a canvas I did a flip cup with. And I'm like, yeah, it really looks like an underwater theme, you know, with like maybe some coral down in the bottom, right? So I went ahead and I got these stickers, which I've had for a long time. And I cut the plastic off the sides. So you won't see that. And then I'm going to cover it with resin. And that you won't see them at all. You won't even know. I'll glue these down with some E6000. So I've done a butterfly one before like that, but I thought maybe you guys would like to see that. That's going to be neat. Well, I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend, and thank you for watching. And sorry it took so long here, but sure hope it's recording my voice. <laughs> I hope I'm not forgetting anything. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. So have a good one. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.